Thank you for choosing THV 11 tonight. I'm Brooke Buckner and I hope you've been enjoying this gorgeous fall like weekend. I have meteorologist Simone Thomas out there in the weather garden. Simone, what can we expect for the rest of the night as folks get ready for the upcoming week? Well, we have been enjoying this wonderful weekend across central Arkansas with temperatures hanging out in the 80s. Now, as we look towards the next couple of days, we will see things warming up a bit. But as you continue through the evening, definitely looking to feel nice out there. We are continuing to track those temperatures in the 80s across central Arkansas. We're having some technical difficulties right now with our graphics, but temperatures in the 80s right now across central Arkansas. As you continue through the evening, we're going to see things fall falling into more of those 70s. Now, as we continue through the evening, we have another night ahead of us with temperatures expected to fall into the 50s. Those overnight lows looking to be in the lower to middle 50s tonight, waking up around 54 this morning in the capital city. As you continue through the next couple of days, we are going to see a warming trend with some rain chances returning to the forecast. So I have more details on what's to come in that seven day outlook. <laughs> Two years ago, the tragic death of Memphis runner Eliza Fletcher sent a shockwave across the country, even here in Arkansas. Fast forward to now and her story continues, making runners realize it can happen to anyone. And that's why local runners and businesses are going the extra mile to make sure everyone stays safe. THV 11's Maya Ellison is here in studio to share more on what you should know if you ever find yourself in a dangerous situation while running alone. Maya. Yeah, Brooke, the death of mother of two Eliza Fletcher caused many runners and businesses in the natural state to become even more aware when it comes to exercising alone from courses to working out with no music. Their hope is to limit the amount of dangerous incidents runners could encounter if they're by themselves. While the outcome of this investigation is not what we hoped for, we are nonetheless pleased to remove this dangerous predator off the streets of Memphis. Two years ago, the country watched as Memphis native Eliza Fletcher's killer was caught and charged. Fletcher was kidnapped and killed while jogging alone during the early morning hours near the University of Memphis. For many Arkansans, her tragic incident sparked conversations surrounding ways to stay safe and how to be aware of your surroundings. Make sure that you're not walking or running over here or biking at 5 o'clock in the morning. Runners like Kirsten Gates and Tennessee native Abby Smith are always thinking ahead of the what ifs while running or walking alone. For Smith, she says that sharing her location or running during the day puts her mind at ease. I usually run like mid-afternoon, like noonish, just because that's when the most people are out here. As runners continue to learn new ways to stay safe, Local businesses like Fleet Feet Little Rock have provided safety courses to local runners looking to gain more knowledge on how to avoid dangerous situations. We can incorporate those kind of ideas and those safety ideas and how to get out of situations in some of our programs that we offer. Fit specialist Kathy Swanson knows what it takes to defend herself when it comes to running alone. She says that safety tips like being aware of your surroundings, listening to your intuition, and having a plan ahead of time can prepare you for dangerous situations. It also comes down to protecting yourself with the help of physical techniques. So even if you scream no and push back or push the hand away, that in itself is enough most of the time to discourage someone. Now, other tips like facing the cars when you're running and even utilizing pepper spray were suggested by local experts. And if you want to learn more ways on how you can stay safe, visit THV11.com. We standing down here praying every day, praying that we get up the hill, praying, you know, praying for the safety of the children. That's Monique Moore. Her children, her children are students in the Little Rock School District, and they're also bus riders. Every day, she walks them from their apartment complex to Canis Road, all during rush hour traffic. The bus stop location is a major concern for several parents in the area, with many now calling for a change. This is Canis and John Barrow. This is a racetrack. Just sit out here, not even five minutes and watch, and you'll see the speed of the traffic. Have no one want. As I call this sign to pause and roll, because that's what they do, pause and roll. Because they're not looking. Moore and the other parents reached out to THV 11 for help. Tonight at 10, THV 11's Michaela Johnson shows us the links they go to to get their kids to the bus stop safely and the issues they're running into trying to change the location.
In the race to the White House, both Vice President Harris and former President Donald Trump campaigned in battleground states this weekend. Trump touched down in Wisconsin Saturday for an outdoor rally in a state he narrowly lost in 2020, while Harris stopped by a Pittsburgh spice shop Saturday after picking up an endorsement from former Vice President Dick Cheney and his daughter, former Congresswoman Liz Cheney. I'm honored to have their support, and I think it's an important statement right now. A lot of what I think is happening, and I was just talking with some folks here in Pittsburgh about it, is that people are exhausted about the division and, and the attempts to kind of divide us as Americans. Harris has been prepping in Pennsylvania for Tuesday's presidential debate, and the first and perhaps only time the candidates will debate. And as we all prepare to cast our ballot in November, we here at THV 11 want to know what's most important to you. The economy, education, abortion access, infrastructure, all issues facing our Kansans today. We've put together a survey where you can let us know what matters most. Our team will take your answers and follow up on these pressing issues and how they impact all of us. The survey also includes an area to share what else you'd like to see covered ahead of Election Day. It's available right now on THV 11 you can also text the word voice to 501-376-1111 and we'll send a link straight to your phone. Well, as we kick off the start of the work week, we got two more nights where we're hanging out in the 50s. We got down to the middle 50s tonight, which is the first time we've seen that since May. So we got a few more nights to do that before we start seeing those overnight lows closer to average. But the big story over the coming days is the chances for rain building through the second half of the week. I'll have a look at what's to come in your seven day outlook. Thanks, Simone. Millions of dollars in grant money will go towards fixing roads in Little Rock. Here in a few minutes, we're sharing the details on where exactly the money is heading to.